Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, got another Black Series figure review today. He's number 40 from The Mandalorian. We're talking about The Mandalorian Shriekhawk. It's not like it, it's, I don't know. I'm not sure I've heard about the name Shriekhawk. I think it should have been like a Shriekhawk Battalion member or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, we're going with it. I'm looking forward to uh, decking out this crew. We've got a two pack coming out. Yeah, sometime in the next month, I think. Um, so I'm pretty pumped up for that one as well. Uh, yeah, it's, I'm looking forward to adding some more Mandalorians that aren't just blue. <laughs> um, but again, I've stated in many Mandalorian videos recently that I'll take as many Mandalorians as we can get because there were so many years where we just weren't having any. Um, and we've been through the dark times. Um, but yeah, Mandalorian Shriekhawk. So yeah, I hope they do, you know, a bunch of, a couple of other characters, maybe... I don't know, maybe Ragnar. I'd like to see the, the actual Shriek Hawk itself, the uh, beast that stole Ragnar <laughs> and uh, hit, it in, hit him in his nest. But um, yeah, this one looks pretty cool. I'm excited to open it up. So let's do exactly that. All right, here is this here Mandalorian Shriek Hawk, as he is uh, labeled as the packaging. Um, yeah, really, really cool. Like I said, loving seeing the Mandalorians with their sort of tacked together sort of spotty miscolored armor i think it's really cool i love that about the uh the covert mandos uh we've had the imperial the the mandalorian judge i don't know why i said imperial we've got the mandalorian judge come out in the vintage collection that's another one i'd love to see come to black series as well but um yeah i just like i like that difference in mandalorians it's sort of been the inspiration for my costume which hopefully i'll be able to get some video and share with you all soon um, it's almost done. I'm looking forward to it. Accessory wise, he's got this uh, jet pack here, which is cool. So you do have those sort of pivoting thrusters there and the little holes so you can put those flame effects that comes with other figures. And the, uh, the missile is removable out the top there. Quite simple, but it works. It looks good. Love the nice sort of bright blue plus the orange. Sort of, I love the... I love the blue and orange contrast together so well. I think they just works works really nicely. So that will slot in nicely onto his back. And it fits well. Next we get a blaster pistol, which looks nice. Don't recall seeing this anywhere. It looks similar to um to Rays from The Force Awakens, but it's a little bit different. It's almost Almost closer to Cassian's actually from from Andor, but that's a nicely painted, nicely painted piece too. Looks good. That silver, a little bit of dark stuff on there. It's a few little dark dark highlights, <laughs> embellishments. Looks good. And that will fit in his holster. I mean, I'm assuming we're about to find out. It does. And that looks good. It's nice to have a Mandalorian with a holster for the blaster. I've had a few without. And then we get this weapon here, which... I think this is the same as that came with the Death Watch Mandos. Um, can't really see them from here. They're on my shelf. But this is actually you know, quite a tough plastic. This has been made with a really strong plastic. We've had a few, few weapons that have come out that have just been almost rubber. But this one looks good. And that gold... Gold down the barrel just... Looks so good. That's really, really nice. And a nice shine to it. Camera's not really doing it justice, but it looks good. Really, really impressed with the blaster, actually. Blaster rifle here. So that's good. He's going to hold that well. We're going to look at the figure. We're going to look at the paint applications. Looks pretty, pretty damn clean to me. The helmet. I think it's nice and, uh, nice and fresh. The rangefinder moves up and down. That's cool. All the paint seems to be pretty on point. You're always going to get a few little blemishes, but with Mandalorians like this, that they paint their own armor. You know, whip it up. You get a few little, few little mishaps along the way. I sort of, yeah, sort of works for it. That's sort of 
like I was saying, with my Mandalorian armor, there's a few paint blemishes and stuff, but it works for the character. So we've got the Death Watch pauldron there, that's cool. Again, I like the sort of the mix of the, you know, the silver Beskar at the top. The different sort of two different blues, the green, the green there. Like these guys are just sort of put together what they can scrap, what they can find. One sort of brown gauntlet, one sort of beigey tan colour. Got the silver sort of the Beskar hands, not indifferent to Dinjarans. New belt for this figure it comes with the uh I like the sort of the not soft goods, soft goods, the way they're sort of sculpted around the bottom there. It's sort of been weathered and torched with a jetpack and, you know, flames have hit this thing. But it's given him some sort of protection of the legs. But I just like that look. I don't know, it just adds a little bit of sort of tattered wariness to the costume, to the armour, the outfit. A lot of pieces of armor there on the thighs. Got the sort of just the silver knee gauntlets, knee gauntlets, knee dart armor, and just sort of the pretty standard sort of tall, tall sort of ready brown boots. Looks good. If anything, I'd say it's probably missing a little bit of weathering, but that's something you can definitely do yourself. Just to sort of dirty him up a little bit, but otherwise I think it looks pretty damn cool. I'm liking the look, loving that they're sort of being able to just sort of sculpt different bits of the sort of softer outer for the armor, and then you know using the basic sort of skeleton for the figure, quote unquote. You sort of mix and match, you know these sort of armor pieces on the legs are all a softer rubber, so you can sort of mix and match. So basically, you got you got a nice sort of base, a few base elements to these Mandalorian figures. You can sort of mix and match. And that's what sort of Hasbro is doing. You don't need to re-sculpt everything. It's obviously working well for them. So yeah, he's looking particularly good. Yeah, I just just love the difference in colours. You know, it's it looks cool. We'll go through the articulation. It's got the ball joint in the head, ball joint in the neck. You can sort of see there, you've got a sort of a bit of a green, dark olive green sort of neck, neck wrap thing. Uh, ball hinges in the shoulders. There's the butterfly joint in there as well. Ball hinges in the elbows. Swivels in the wrists, an inward and outward hinge on the left hand, and an up and down hinge on the right. There is a joint in the torso there, you the ball and socket, or the barbell hips, it swivels at the top of the thighs, no they're not, yes there is, <laughs> it's a little bit higher up than it looks, so there is a swivel in the thighs there, hinge in the knees, the top of the boots, no, ball hinge in the ankles and a pivot, pivot joint there in the foot for the rocker. So yeah, looking particularly cool. I'm gonna give him his blaster and then I'll put his jetpack back on. <laughs> I'll play with this a little bit more afterwards to get it sitting just, just right. You know, it's a sort of a harder plastic for the blaster, so that's allowing a little less wiggle room, but that's cool. Yeah, that looks sick. Really, really happy about that. So there we have it. He looks good. Let's do the old peg test. The uh, Kessel Run action figure stands. Perfecto Mundo. Check that out. Mandalorian Shriekhawk. Part 1. <laughs> Looking forward to getting the 2-pack. Definitely review them once they come in. I'm excited. Let me know what you think of this guy. I'm very happy with him. Going to spend the week on my desk, I think, just playing with him, posing him up, just chilling out. It looks awesome. 
anyway folks let me know what you think below give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new and we'll catch you for some more reviews very soon till then may the force be with you always we would be honored if you would join us